Hey, what's up, my YouTube fans? Welcome to the special presentation that I like to call Clarence and the Hangout, A Look Back. So, let's get started. I'm your host, Clarence Pryor, the Staten Island IC of New York City. Um, here's what I want to let you guys know. I'm going to do one more final season because doing the final season of Clarence and the Hangout last year, that was really great. But I thought of a great idea to do the final, final season of Clarence and the Hangout this year. By the time I turned the big milestone of turning the big 3-0, I'm going to April 15th when I'll be back on the show. So, I want to make sure I take a look back. And um, But before I take a look back, I want to show you guys something. So, I want to keep this in mind. Um, here's the thing. I found out that Mario Party 10 is coming out on Friday, March 20th for the Wii U. I'll definitely get that in March. So, but now I was on Mario Party's Legacy's website using the Wii U internet, and I found something. Hold on. Do I want to show you something? Okay. You saw the first one that's in the in the E3 conference and stuff, but here's more. They have this day similar to Merengue Clouds from New Super Mario Bros. U. There's one from Bowser's Castle. One that looks like a haunted house with the graveyard, the swamp, everything. And one from the, the Water World. And this is the official dice block of how it looks. Huh? I also found out that, um... Coming back as playable characters. Yes, I, I miss playing uh, playing as Toadette ever since she debuted in Mario Party Six way back, right around uh, I think it was like eleven years ago. Yes, it was. It was eleven years ago when Toadette debuted in Mario Party Six. I'm glad I want to play as her again because she also be a playable character in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. It's like she's making a comeback. I can totally understand that. Everyone makes a comeback once in a while, including me. It's just that I, last year, um, doing the final season was great, but doing in real life that I'm, I'm struggling dealing with being um, about to change and everything. It's that I really miss my friends back in New York City, and uh, I'm gonna be looking forward to coming, going back there one final time. So, anyway, I want to take a. Um, I want to make sure to do whatever I can for the final, final season of Clarence and His House premiering with two new episodes, two premiere episodes on Friday, April 17th, which is my official birthday, turning the big 3-0, the big milestone, the big G's, the big, well, you know, the rest. But anyway, um, I'm just really proud that I'm going to be turning 30 because I think I can finally move on with all the hate, all the bullying. But I know bullying is not over because there's still been a lot of hate around this world. But I'm glad I joined um, Coming Out Matters 10 months ago because of my friend Johnny Drubel from Rich Kids of Beverly Hills. He followed me on Twitter last month on Christmas. It was a He was a gift that John gave to me. And I, I hope we finally meet this year in New York City. I'll be going back to New York City in June, still filming my episodes. But I want to make sure to do more episodes, so I'll do that. So, um, also I'll do two back-to-back -back episodes every day after the premiere. So that's what I'll do. Alright, now let's see if I want to take a look back. Um, well, I want to take a look back at the final season when, um, I finally battled Garrett River Gill, the Olympic gold medalist swimmer, who's a two-time Olympic gold medalist. He came to Lions Pool, my childhood place, Lions Pool, Staten Island, and now my YouTube video has got 700 plus view more views. And I'm really glad he showed up. Uh, I'm, I'm, it was a great honor that I battled him. My friend Andrew Salzillo battled him, including Kyle O'Neill. And um, yeah, good picture of or the queen and team together, including my friend um, Samantha Escobedo, which I like to call her Sammy with I, because that'll be right there, like Sammy Escobedo. So anyway, um, Gary Webergill, I want to give a shout out to you. Thank you 
so much. And I hope I see you again because the Five Hour Season is going to be dedicated to you. So, anyways. Um, Alright, here's the thing. Do anyone ever have a fear of failure of sorts? Because, you know, I mean, ever since um, last month, um, I thought the uh, New Year's Day Life Bar test was going to be in January. But it turns out there was one that's last month in December, like on the 13th and the 20th, which I lost my biggest opportunity ever that um, I wanted to become a New Year's Day Life Bar like how my friends are, and including my mother. Because I. It's like I do have a fear of failure of sorts. It's just that, like, if I lose my big biggest opportunity, um, I've been watching the show talk show called The Real, that featuring um the five women like um Adrian Baylon, um Lonnie Love, Tamara Mary Housley, Jeannie Mai, and Tamar Braxton. Um, those five women really gave me an idea about what. I mean, does everyone have a fear of failure? Because um, I'm, I'm just scared of my own self that I, it's like I doubt my abilities, but the most important thing is I know I'm not going to give up because my dream will come true because my dream is to become a swimming master. Like Ryan Lotte, my swimming idol who I will love to meet again one day this year because I hope I will have the honor to challenge him in uh, swimming at my childhood place playing pool. When it opens, the pool opens at the end of June. All New York City pools will be open at the end of June. So I'll be heading back to New York City at the start of June to do much more swimming training, and I'll do that. But here's the thing about when I look back, two years ago, I met Ryan Lotte during the season of, um, uh, I think it was Clarence and His Out Adventures of a Lifetime that I did. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did that. I did a two-part episode of when I was in Rockefeller Center on, in line with some Ryan Lotte fans. And most importantly, uh, I'm just really glad I did that. And then I did part two where I got the Ryan Lotte poster. I, I know it's in my closet, and um, I'll make sure I put that up on the wall and because it'll make me think of what I did. And um, Ryan Lotte, if you can hear me, I want to give a special shout out to you for two years ago. Thank, thank you for, um, I kept a photo of you and me, give me a peace sign. And um, I want to give a special shout out to you. And I, and I wish was your show wasn't canceled. Because I want to learn much more about you and your family. And um, it's been a really great honor that I watched the show that I learned much about you. So, shout out to you, Ryan Lottie, and I hope you, I hope we can battle on my milestone year turning 30, even though I want to go ahead back to New York City in June. Come to Lions Pool, it would be a great honor to have you, just like how your friend Garrett Robertdale came. Yeah! Alright, let me see. Um, my friend Alex Lorado, during um, the season of Adventures of a Lifetime and the final season that I did, he was my special guest star, and he supported me coming out. And thank you so much. Um, shout out to you, Alex and Team Brian Beach. Thank you. Um, the final season that I did, a look back, is when I finally went to the New York City Pride. I had to do uh, multiple parts of the episode, and that's when I met uh, Laverne Cox from Orange is the New Black. She was a grand marshal of um, the, the New York City Pride, and I'm honored to meet you. So, Laverne Cox. Thank you for giving a shout out to my mom and my friends, and thank you so much. This season will be dedicated to you, including all my friends. So, anyway, the final, the final, final season of Clarence in His House will premiere Friday, April 17th, with two premiere episodes, and then all week, I'll do two back, back episodes every week. So, anyway, um, this season is dedicated to my mom, my friends, my family, including um, some special guest stars that I met. Like Scarlett Abigail, Ryan Lottie, uh, including LeBron Cox. This season is dedicated to also to the real world stars like Trey Weatherholds, Rob Schreiber, um, Jordan Wisely, um, to the challenge stars, um, um, Johnny Bananas, who um, tweeted me back during the free agents last year. Thank you so much, Johnny Bananas. And I'm very honored. Um, this season will be dedicated to the real world and challenge stars, including the late and great GM Brown and Ryan Knight. I mean, it's too soon that they passed away. They are the best legends of the challenge, and I will miss them dearly. So this season is dedicated to them, too. 
to you, Trey, to you, Rob, to you, including the new Real World Stars, um, Bruno Betancourt, Tony Reigns, Jason Casanova, and Nicole Zanata, who are the Wolf Pack. Love you guys. This season is dedicated to you. Oh, uh, yeah, especially Bria Betancourt, Bruno's brother, who knows my friend Austin Al Ronaldo Altman from New York City. This is dedicated to all of you guys. So, I gotta go. So, catch the season premiere of Clarence in His House, the final, final season, starting uh, Friday, April 17th at 11 p.m., only on YouTube. Oh, I can't forget David Daggett, too. I'm gonna be challenging him, too. By the time he comes to New York City with his son, I'll be ready for you, David. Come anytime. That's it for this episode of Clarence in His House, a look back. Don't forget to leave your comments on my YouTube channel. Like my fan page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and also on Instagram. Uh, Johnny Jubel, a special shout out to you. Love you, buddy. And um, I hope you go to season three of Rich Kids Belly Hill will come back on. I am I know how you guys feel. But anyway, special shout out to you, Johnny. Thank you for following me on Twitter. And we'll I'll dedicate it to you when we finally meet. And I'll finally meet Brendan, Roxy, and the rest. Take care, everyone. And you know how it is for me. You know how I do. Take care, everyone. See you next time.